in today's video, I'm going to take you on an epic three-day road trip through Ontario. Here we start in Ottawa, make our way to Toronto, see the CN Tower, the tallest building in the world. That was until the Burj Khalifa took over in 2007. Visit Casa Loma, a gothic-style mansion that is now a historic house museum and landmark. Next stop at Grisviti Alley and admire all the amazing artwork. After a long day in the big city, head down to your hotel in Niagara Falls and wake up to the sounds of the falls. Walk around the falls or take a ride on the Maid of the Mist, which takes you up close and personal with the falls. When you're hungry, head up to the Sky Lawn Tower. It's an epic revolving restaurant which gives you a 360 degree view of the falls. Next, jump in your car and make your way up to Northern Bruce Peninsula. Oh, and don't forget your camping gear. Here you will see the most beautiful turquoise blue water and grottos you will think you are in the Caribbean. So let's get started on our journey. Hello everyone, we are here at Niagara Falls, Canada. As you can see, I have a lovely friend joining us today. I'm gonna to take you through what a day looks like at Niagara Falls, what you can see and do here. There's some beautiful walk arounds and across we actually have the US border. Although I think our side is better than the US. But yeah, so there's the lovely sky tower which you can go up and there's a dining experience up there. Or you could take a boat ride through the iconic Niagara Falls. Or you could just walk around, kind of like what we're doing today. So one of the iconic things to do in Niagara Falls is the Maid of the Mist Tour. It's a boat that brings you right down to the Niagara Falls. It's only $19.25 for adults, so it's actually a pretty good price because you get to go and you get to explore the scenery, you get to feel the mist on your face, that's why it's called Maid of the Mist. You get a poncho, it's a really cool experience. In today's video, I'm going to take you guys on some of the best hikes you can do and see in Canada. So first we are going to start at Bruce Peninsula National Park. It's so beautiful. It's known for its beautiful grotto, beautiful blue aqua teal water. It's going to be great.
made it back to Grotto Bay. So as you can see behind me, there's the beautiful turquoise blue water. And we have trekked here all the way from our campsite. It's really accessible. And there's tons of different trails around this area. So you can check out like hundreds. Like there's honestly ones that go from 30 kilometers to one kilometers that suit any hiker's needs. So you gotta check it out. absolutely freezing down here the waves and just the wind is so cool so the temperature here stays roughly around four degrees celsius so even though in the summer it looks all aqua turquoise blue just like in the caribbean it's actually freezing cold so if you come here you'll definitely want a wetsuit and something to keep you very very warm whenever you dry off and you're gonna wanna wear some hiking boots because it's very, very rigid rock and it's very slippery. So yeah, really gorgeous out here.